Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my first update for the Graveyard Project Pan for 2022. It has been two months since I started this project. We are doing updates every other month. The creator of this project is Emily from Emily and Max and we are working on between five and ten products at a time. I'm around six and we could either choose from two categories, collecting cobwebs or resurrection products. I started this project out with three resurrection products, meaning those were three products that were previously in Project Pans, but I did not meet my goal on them, and three collecting cobwebs products, meaning products that had just been not getting the love that they deserved and collecting a little dust around them. And I have met my goal on one item so far in this project, so let's start with that one. The item that I hit my goal on is from the Resurrection category. This is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Birthday Wish, and this was in my 50 Shades of Purple project, which was a year-long project. There was no excuse to not meet my goal in that project, but I didn't do it. My goal is to hit pan. And so I put it in this project, which started almost immediately after the finale of Fifty Shades of Purple. And I have finally, finally hit pan. I think you could see it right there in the center. It's just a tiny pan. This was surprisingly difficult to accomplish. I don't know why it just wasn't happening for me. I did have to revive it. It was pretty dried out. So I've been adding Duraline with almost every use. And um, yeah, this was not easy. This is an interesting shade, this Birthday Wish shade. In the pan, it looks like a very silvery, taupey shade. But every time I put it on my eyes, it's more of a beigey tan, like sandy shade. And I'm always kind of surprised by how much sandier it looks than taupey. Anyways, I did hit my goal on this finally after two projects and it is rolling out. So I'm happy about that. Unfortunately, there are two other eyeshadows in this project that I barely touched because I spent so much of the month working on this guy right here. So let's talk about those really quickly. All three of these products came from Fifty Shades of Purple. This one is the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadow in the shade Polynesian Purple. And my goal is to use this 15 times and I only used it one time over the last two months. When I did use it, I was shocked by how gorgeous it was. It's a beautiful product, but I only got one use. And sadly, even worse, way worse, I have another Super Shock Shadow in this project that came from Fifty Shades of Purple. This is Color Pops Sunbeam. And my goal is to use this 27 times and I didn't use it even once. So that is that is a little embarrassing, but it, I didn't use it. That's the truth, I didn't use it. Um, I do have some better news with my Collecting Cobwebs products. I chose three products, most of which came, I think all of which came from my spring Shop My Stash. And um, my goal is just to use them as much as possible, so I'm just tracking my usage. The one I used the least is my Too Faced Melted Peony Lipstick. I did get four uses out of this, but only four. Um, I like it a lot. I think I called this like a pinky nude in the intro video two months ago. It's just a pink. There's nothing nude about it at all. It is a straight up pink, so I, I needed to correct myself with that. But it's very pretty and I feel like I can wear it. I feel like it's a color I can pull off for the most part, depending on what eyeshadow and blush I use but I only used it four times, so I'll be rolling that over for another two months and seeing how much more use I can get out of it. I also put this MAC blush into this project. This is the shade Modern Mandarin. Don't ask me what the name of this collection was. I no longer can recall that, but this was a brand new blush that still looks brand new. And of course, so I wanted to get some use out of it, so I did use it 10 times in the past month, which I will accept, I will accept 10 uses. I'm also working on a loose blush that I'm trying to pan completely. And I've been rolling these magnetic palettes of depotted blush into Project 10 uses. So I am splitting myself up in several different directions when it comes to the blush I choose every day. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's a pretty specific color, but it's summer and you know, there's plenty of times where I think this look or this outfit I'm wearing is perfect for an orange blush. Not this outfit, but a lot of times I'm wearing a very, 
an outfit or an eye look that I feel like that orange blush is perfect for. And the last product rolling over is this Maybelline Color Elixir and Breathtaking Apricot. And this was my most used product in this project over the past month. I used this 18 times, which is pretty amazing for me. I have been keeping this in my purse, which is why I tend to use this for like reapplication. Even if I don't start my day wearing this, I might end my day wearing this. Um, it's gorgeous. I don't have any signs of progress. I can't show you anything, but I did use it 18 times and I really enjoyed it. So now is the time to roll in a new product for the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow that I hit pan on. And so this time I went to my Summer Shop My Stash Basket. That video went up on June 19th, I believe. And I happened to pull quite a few products in that Shop My Stash that I wasn't too sure about, but I felt were appropriate for summer. Like, I don't know if I love them, but I wanted to get some use out of them because I have mixed feelings about them for one reason or another. And so I decided to grab one of those products. I grabbed this Too Faced Lip Injection Color Bomb in the shade Coral Pop. It's a stingy product. This is a lip plumping uh, lip crayon. It, um, it's been a while since I've used it, but I recall it burning the shiz out of my lips. And so I haven't used it since, and it's just been sitting in a drawer. And so this was one of the products that I pulled and thought I should use it. And if I hate it, if it stings my lips again, I should throw it in the garbage and move on with my life. So that is my plan. My goal for this product is to either use it 20 times, or throw it in the garbage. So that's the plan for this product, and I'm really excited and scared to be testing this out because my lips might fall off. I don't know. I mean, who knows? I know a couple of you have had an experience with this, so I know I'm not the only one, but this is the stingiest of the lip products I've ever tried. Like, imagine a Buxom lip polish times... 50. That's what this feels like to me. So 20 uses or garbage. Those are my choices. And that's what's rolling into this project for this month. So that is everything you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.